second seal. Mm. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the beast say, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red and power was given unto him that he that sat thereon should take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given to him a great sword. It said it was given to him power to take peace from the earth. Hmm. And that they should kill one another. Now, what did Jesus say? Be, be not deceived. He said, for kingdom shall rise against kingdom and nation against nation. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. Here we have a pattern. He spoke of deception. The first seal is about deception. He spoke about wars and rumors of wars. The second seal is about what? It's about peace being taken from the earth. You can't have wars and rumors of wars without peace being taken from the earth. They all work together. He, Jesus literally in Matthew 24, gave the seals of revelation in the exact same order that revelation is given in. Terrifying. And so you have the atmosphere of hatred and murder. He said that love was going to wax cold. He said that there was going to be conflict. Now, when you define conflict, conflict is a noun that is about serious disagreement or argument, typically a protracted argument lasting a long time or longer than usual. It's also defined as a prolonged armed struggle, opposing wishes or needs, incompatibility of two or more opinions, incompatible or at variance with each other. The synonyms for conflict is dispute, quarrel, squabble, disagreement, war, armed conflict, military action, battle, clash, incompatibility, incongruency, all coming to fruition. These are things that come with the second seal atmosphere. When peace is taken from the earth, now I'm gonna tell you, me personally, I think peace was taken from the earth around 2020. I think I think when 2020 happened and for reasons obvious, I don't feel like dealing with with all whatever fallout may come with me saying the very obvious thing that may have that happened in 2020. I don't believe that that was a natural occurrence. I believe it was man-made. So for man to take peace from the earth and to kill one another and we're even finding labs now with this engineered inside of a California lab. Peace taken from the earth. Love gone. There's no concern about human, human man, your fellow man. There's no concern, but love is wax cold. And with all the, and see, it comes down, it really comes down and we about to hit it with the third seal. It really comes down to greed. When you talk about population control, when you talk about things that will allow certain people to live more comfortably than other people, then you actually know what it is to say, okay, these things have a deeper and a darker meaning than, you know, we're living through it. Sure, yeah, we're living through it. But then at the same time, we don't really know. I say it all the time and I've been saying it way more than often. The matrix is real, but it's spiritual. And because the matrix is spiritual, if, if you've watched the matrix, you know exactly what's going on. That there is a, there's this life that everybody lives, but in the spirit, it's being animated by forces seen and unseen. It's being animated by the spiritual good and the spiritual evil. The things that we see during the second seal these are the things that we'll see during the second seal that we have seen love lost hatred is increased there's a disregard for fellow humans there's no peace in everyday living there is upticks in robbery violence and killing there are wars and there are rumors of wars racism and offense on unprecedented levels. See, people, I've never seen people so offended. I just watched a video a couple of, I don't 
hours ago. Yeah, that was earlier today where this um, a trans woman began to hit this man. And I don't actually I still ain't got down what trans man, trans woman is, whatever. But it was a woman with blue hair. Apparently, if she was supposed to be called a man or maybe she was a man with blue hair and she was and it was supposed to okay, then, mm -hmm, and it was supposed to be called a woman. I don't know. But apparently the man called it what it looked like. So it looked like a woman. And this woman looking person started to punch him in the midst of a county fair. Now they were in some kind of fair. And this uh, woman with blue hair began to punch him because he mis he he misgendered her. Huh. Misgendered. Okay, anyway, and the offense was so great to this person that was misgendered, they pulled out their phone and they began recording them and saying, we're, I'm gonna, um, I'm pressing charges against you and where's the police? Because I want the police to arrest you. You're so offendable and yet so offensive at the same time. How can you be so, how can you hit someone because they misgendered you, but then at the same time, want them arrested for misgendering you? The greater offense is hitting someone. Last time I heard, when you hit someone, that was assault. Misgendering as an actual uh, uh, offense and going to jail, persecutable by law, there's an uptick in that. Families at ought and overall conflict. This is the second seal.